Apple's iOS 19 is gearing up to bring a game-changing update to the iPhone camera app. With significant inspiration from VisionOS, the operating system behind the Apple Vision Pro headset. This isn't just a minor tweak. It's a complete redesign aimed at making the app more intuitive and visually appealing. The updated camera app is expected to feature translucent panels and fluid animations, giving it a sleek, modern look. Controls for settings like image resolution and video quality will be more accessible, with drop-down panels appearing at the top of the display for easy adjustments. These changes aren't just about aesthetics. They're designed to make the camera app faster and more user-friendly. This redesign might also signal a broader shift for iOS 19, aligning the entire operating system with the futuristic style of Vision OS. If true, this could unify the visual language across Apple's devices, creating a seamless experience whether you're using an iPhone or a Vision Pro headset. Apple is expected to reveal iOS 19 at the Worldwide Developers Conference this June with a public release likely in September alongside the iPhone 17 series. Switching gears to the Vision Pro, there are some key updates to share. Apple has officially delayed the release of the Vision Pro 2. Originally expected in 2025, it's now likely to launch between late 2025 and early 2026. However, Apple isn't hitting pause entirely they're shifting focus to an affordable version of the Vision Pro. This lower-cost headset is reportedly a high priority. It's expected to be priced around $2,000, significantly less than the Vision Pro's current price of $3,499. The goal? To make Apple's mixed reality tech more accessible to a broader audience. Additionally, Apple is exploring other innovative wearable technologies, including smart glasses, similar to Meta's Ray-Ban collaboration and AirPods equipped with cameras. These devices are still in the early stages of development. Let's address recent news about the Vision Pro's production. Reports indicate that Apple has halted manufacturing due to weak demand and user feedback. Issues like the high price tag, limited app ecosystem, and user complaints about discomfort have contributed to slower than expected sales. Despite these challenges, Apple has already produced enough units to meet projected demand through 2025. While the Vision Pro hasn't reached its full potential, Apple's commitment to refining its mixed reality products and introducing more affordable options shows they're far from giving up. With these updates, Apple is clearly working to innovate and make its mixed reality technology more appealing and accessible to users worldwide. Apple's Vision Pro continues to evolve, offering users a glimpse of what the future might hold for mixed reality technology. Let's dive into some exciting new updates that make this luxury gadget more functional, despite its hefty price tag. First off, Apple has rolled out significant improvements to the Vision Pro's compatibility with Macs, thanks to macOS Sequoia 15.2 and VisionOS 2.2. These updates introduce wide and ultra-wide monitor modes, transforming the Vision Pro into a game-changing virtual display for your Mac. Imagine a curved virtual monitor that wraps around your field of view, offering an immersive workspace. You can adjust it to your liking, curve it in, stretch it out, or pull it closer to create your own private computing bubble. Whether you're working on a MacBook Air or a Mac Mini, this update turns the Vision Pro into a viable alternative to a physical monitor, especially for smaller setups. However, the connection process still leaves room for improvement. It's not always seamless, with occasional delays or dropped connections. And while it's a fantastic addition for Mac users, the lack of similar functionality for iPhones and iPads feels like a missed opportunity. Hopefully, future updates will close that gap and make the Vision Pro even more versatile across Apple's ecosystem. Comfort has also been a focus for Apple and third-party accessory makers. Wearing the Vision Pro for extended periods 
has been a challenge due to its weight and fit. But there are now solutions that make it much more manageable. Apple includes two head straps in the box. And while the dual loop strap offers better support, third party options have taken things further. The Resmed Contour Strap, priced at $120, adds counterweights to balance the headset's weight more evenly. Meanwhile, Belkin's $50 strap provides an affordable, effective solution for improving comfort, making long sessions feel less taxing. For those looking to minimize face pressure, Anapro's visor-like system offers an alternative. It even lets you remove the Vision Pro's facial interface for a wider field of view, though it may not suit everyone's preferences. These adjustments show Apple's dedication to refining the Vision Pro's usability, paving the way for a more ergonomic design in future iterations. One surprising improvement is in audio handling. Previously, Mac audio played through the connected computer speakers, which felt out of sync with the Vision Pro's immersive visuals. Now, Mac audio is rooted directly through the Vision Pro's high quality speakers, making it perfect for gaming, movies, and more. Apple has also enhanced the Vision Pro's ability to recognize keyboards. Picture this. You're working in a virtual beach or moonlit environment and the Vision Pro creates a clear window around your keyboard, letting you type without distraction. Although it's not instant and can still be finicky, it adds to the Vision Pro's appeal as a productivity tool. These updates not only improve the current Vision Pro, but also hint at what's to come. Apple's focus on better fit, enhanced functionality, and ecosystem integration could make future, more affordable versions of the Vision Pro incredibly compelling, with rumors of a lower cost mixed reality headset and further refinements to Vision OS. Apple's vision for its mixed reality future is becoming clearer. The Vision Pro may still be a luxury device, but the progress we're seeing suggests that mixed reality could soon be accessible to a much wider audience. Apple's commitment to mixed reality is evident in its ongoing efforts to enhance the Vision Pro and expand its product lineup. Recent reports indicate that Apple is in discussions with Sony to integrate PlayStation VR 2 controllers with the Vision Pro, aiming to attract gamers and content creators. Despite initial challenges, including a high price point and limited content leading to reduced production, Apple is focusing on developing a more affordable mixed reality headset. The company plans to produce up to 4 million units of this lower cost device, signaling a strategic shift to make mixed reality technology more accessible.